financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Jenny Lingo, it's nice to have you back. Good morning, Ken. Pat Samasco from Samasco Law, our elder law expert. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Ken. And then we have Brian Small. Nice to see you, Brian. Good morning, Ken. It's a chair. pleasure. Today's segment, we're going to talk about a case study. John and Lori, they are suffering with tax debt, credit card debt, and medical bills. I'm going to lay out the problem. And then together, we're going to figure out what's the solution for John and Lori. Here's the problem. $70,000 of credit card debt. $120,000 of tax debt from 2010, 2011, and 2012. $25,000 of medical bills. I'm not going to overly complicate this with a whole bunch of other stuff. These are three core problems that we commonly see couples like John and Lori to have. Now, here are their basic assets and family situation. And, and any one of those problems, though, is enough to have to deal with. And it's certainly enough to However, have an awful lot of stress. As it's a, a gr it, it happens to be that... It just happens that the combination, it's like you, they stir it all up and boom, credit card debt, tax problems, and medical bills seem to be that are, they always great, come together. Yeah, they come together. It's well, medical storm. bills we can't get like away the, from. Like the Brady Bunch, okay. they're always together. If you go to the doctor now, you end up with, and, and you have insurance that's on your own with high deductibles, you end up with medical bills. And if you have a significant health issue, even though you have the benefit of insurance, you end up with big Three years of deductibles becomes can can become twenty five thousand dollars. That's that's the world we're living in now. All right, they're making five thousand dollars a month, so you know they, they've got a modest income, but you know they, they could get by if they didn't have all this debt. They have two children. They have a home worth one hundred and fifty thousand. The first mortgage is one hundred and sixty, so the house is underwater. They also have a second mortgage of twenty five thousand. They have a car with a lease payment of three twenty five a month. Their other car is a 2005 Grand Cherokee that they own outright, worth maybe about 4000 bucks. They've got $5,000 of cash in the bank, and all of their tax returns for those years that have not, that they have the $120,000 of tax debt were filed on April 15th of each year. Those are the facts. The question is, what is the best way of getting rid of this debt? And these are the things that people think about and hear about <coughs> if they're watching on TV or listening to the radio. They'll have one guy say, file bankruptcy, it's the good solution. You'll have another guy saying, I'm the tax guru, I can settle your tax debt for pennies on the dollar. You'll have another guy saying, you don't want to file bankruptcy, you can avoid that and use debt settlement to take care of the tip credit card debt. Do they, say it, that good, do they say it just <laughs> like that too? That's my version of those commercials. Can I ask one quick question? So the, the families, they, they file the tax return each year even though they didn't pay the taxes. Is it better to file the tax return if you don't have the money or better to put your head in the sand and just or not totally ignore it? It's better to file the tax return. There's a, quite a few reasons for it. Way Number one, better. you're legally like you can be face criminal charges if you don't file your tax returns. Two, if you don't file timely, you're subject to a 25% penalty. So just because you pay, you can't pay, doesn't mean that you can't file the return. So you want to file the return so that you don't incur that additional 25%. And the third reason is, if you would like to possibly plan for a bankruptcy in the future, you have to have that return filed and you have to meet some rules. Some and, and you'll see that in this circumstance, because we're yeah. going to change the facts after this where the return wasn't filed. But the simple one is this, 25%. People that don't file their return timely increase their tax liability automatically by 25% wow. for no reason. Wow. If you don't have the money to pay, you're going to get penalized at a half a percent per month up to 25%, but that's six and a half years. 
So there's, and, and that's separate. The other 25% for not filing is 5% a year for, uh, starting with, you know, uh, April 15th if you haven't filed an extension. It's a waste of money and a terrible thing not to file your return on time. And it only happens because people like to bury their head in the sand thinking, if I don't file, they won't know about me. There's that boy. It doesn't they're work. They're going to have that voice in their head for the rest of their uh, <laughs> April 15th. For that, gonna hear that, I apologize to all of you. <laughs> so, Brian, what is your take on this? Jenny, is this a Chapter 7 bankruptcy or is this a case of settling the well, tax debt using an offer and compromise? Well, here's what happens. The client comes in and sits down with me with this set of facts. We're going to actually explore all of the different solutions. So let's, and when we look at it, of course, we're looking for the simplest, most effective method to get the client out of debt that's the least costly and most efficient. And so we're going to end up in a Chapter 7. Okay, but here's the reason why you wouldn't do an offer and compromise in this situation. The taxes were timely filed. They are now, they've reached the point where they are dischargeable in bankruptcy. They've met the three year, two year, 240 day rule. In order for tax to be dischargeable in bankruptcy, it had to have come due at least three years earlier. It had to have been filed for at least two years and it, you couldn't have been assessed in the last 240 days. In this situation, this this client because their last year was 2012 they filed April 15th 2013 three years ran up April, April 15th, 16th 16 well, so they're good yeah. so that tax debt is dischargeable the credit card bills are dischargeable and and if we did debt resolution we could settle the credit cards but that would and the medical bills but that would still leave us with the tax debt so now and we to settle it you still have to pay you still have to pay 40% of the debt in the settlement, correct? Right, which would cost, well, between the medical bills and the credit cards, about $40,000. Why spend $40,000 when for $1,500 to $2,000, they could wipe it out like that all with the a Chapter tax, 7. All the taxes. All the taxes, debt. all the credit cards, all the medical bills, keep the house, keep the car, and get a fresh start. There's nothing that stops them from being eligible for a Chapter 7 on these with, facts? With this set of facts, no. There's no equity in their home? Correct. If they had 100000 of equity, would that be a problem? It could be a problem. It depends on the exemptions but the, the, that are available, but the reality is, is Let's it might be a, a problem. Let's take a break. When we come back, Jenny's going to talk about the tax issue. It's devastating. The effects of debt and foreclosure on you and your family. There is a solution. Worth they have gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Some fear the word bankruptcy, but in reality, it's a strategy to save your home and to eliminate debt. If you're in financial trouble, timing is critical. You need to take action now. We've been saving homes and eliminating debt for over 33 years. Call Fav Gross, 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. Worth they have gross, our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more and you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. 
You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. All right, welcome back. All right, so, Brian, you have me convinced from the standpoint that Chapter 7 is going to work, but Jenny, I've got a question for you. You hear on TV all the time, I can settle your tax debt for pennies on the dollar with this offer and compromise mm -hmm. uh, program. How does that work, and why is that not the right thing to do in this case? Well, the first thing when, when someone comes in to me with credit card debt, tax debt, and medical bills, the first thing that we're going to look at is a Chapter 7 before I'm going to analyze an offer and compromise. The reason because is if I can find one tool that solves all of the problems, that, that's typically economically the right way So like to go. Brian says, in this case, that would work. That would work. But if it was an offer and compromise, how does that work? They would qualify for an offer and compromise here. The only issue is they have 5000 in their bank account, and the IRS only allows you to keep 1000 However, with their... So you just charge them $4,000 for the fee and that takes care of it, or is it not that expensive? Uh, no, no, it, it <laughs> certainly wouldn't be that expensive in their case. That's They're a big point, and I, I'm saying it in jest, but let me tell you right now, if you call up one of these 1-800 tax companies and they're going to they're gonna sell you an offer and compromise whether bankruptcy is the smarter move or not, and they're going to charge you six dollars to $7,000 for it, and it shouldn't be more than what usually? I, I would say in this case, not more than $2,500 because for they have a pretty simple case. And in this case, we wouldn't even do it. We no. would instead be over to Brian for a bankruptcy, which is probably around $1,500. 1500 plus the filing fee comes to okay. about $2,000. And that gets rid of all the debt. But what's the problem on the offering compromise? Well, the, the problem besides the fact that the, that the cash they have and their vehicle is a little bit over um, what they would allow is that the IRS requires that they accept an offer and you pay the offer that for the next five years you timely file your returns and that you don't owe again. And that seems to be something that kicks back a lot of offer and compromises because once you've had financial problems, there is a chance that sometime during the next five years you're going to owe $1,000 and you can't pay it right on April 15th. I use two terms for that. I call that the stay clean rule, which <laughs> says if you get an offer and compromise, you then have to stay clean with the IRS for five years, which means every year you have to pay your taxes timely. And then the other term I use is sometimes the repeat offender term, which says if you have a tendency to be behind in taxes, it's not uncommon for that problem to reoccur. <coughs> now, let me explain why it happens. It doesn't typically happen to the guy who's working and getting a W-2 and having tax withheld. It happens to the self-employed individuals who have to pay in estimates. And I understand the problem. We've been seeing it for years. Any business person who's self-employed understands that their life is dependent on cash flow. And sometimes cash flow dips. And when cash flow dips, you still got to pay your help. You still got to put food on the table for your children. You still got to pay tuition. You have to pay everything that's coming at you. And sometimes the tax debt, when <coughs> you're self-employed and you have to voluntarily send in estimates, sometimes that doesn't happen. That's the reality of life. And in that situation, if that's your situation going forward and you're still self-employed, even though the offer and compromise is a great program when you can't get rid of the tax through a bankruptcy and discharge it, it still has a shortcoming. And the thing that people, the thing that annoys me is people get lulled into these offer and compromises by these tax, big tax companies and they never even tell you about the stay clean rule. And when you don't stay clean and you call up and say, you never told me about that, they go, oh, yes, we did. It was on page 32 of our retainer agreement. Actually, they don't answer the phone when you call them back to no, ask some questions. Even, even worse. <laughs> Let me throw it for the people at home listening. I think that's why it's so important to come to a firm like you, because you have a fiduciary obligation to make sure the plan that you're providing to them is the best plan for them. They don't have, you don't have a chip in the game in the sense of, if you're an offering compromise firm, they're going to figure out any way under thumbs on to make sure that fits them. Well, if you're only a bankruptcy guy, you're only going to do bankruptcy. On the financial side, if you're a stockbroker, you're going to sell them a stock because that's how you make a living. You have no fiduciary obligation. Here with you guys, that's what you do is what's best for them. And, and not only that, we're, we're going to be here for another, th we've been yeah. here for 32 years, and we want to be here for another 32 oh, years. Yeah. Screw, a, screw a client once, that's the end of that's the game. Well, I, I don't even want It should be the end of the game. I don't even yeah. want to take it that far. The problem is if you're just a bankruptcy attorney or you're just <coughs> doing debt settlement or you just do offer and compromise, 
the person that's selling you that product may not even know there's other options. That's so the there's not always ill intent. That's going but they from don't a, know. The, off, the, the, the some of the tax relief people call you up and ask for advice at times when, you're, oh when there's God, a more yeah. complicated mm -hmm. case. Let me Do throw any of them know that the taxes are dischargeable in bankruptcy? No. Let me throw in an example everyone really understands is you have the best family doctor in the world and you've been going to him for 40 years. If you got cancer, you're going to the cancer specialist. And that's what you guys are. You're the, yeah, you're the cancer. And specialist. if you have a heart problem, you want to go to the heart. Cleveland <laughs> or you want to go to the cardiologist who knows what you he's doing. The, you don't go to the well, head guy for a I, 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 I want to change the facts, though. And I want to show our, all of our viewers how by changing the facts, you still end up in the same result. Let's assume there's, a hundred, there's the same amount of tax debt, but there is no credit card debt, and there, is, there are no medical bills. Jenny, why wouldn't we do an offer and compromise there? It's just tax debt. I would say for the majority of people, I would still recommend the Chapter 7 because you don't have that five-year stay clean. Now, there are some individuals, um, security brokers in the, who have licenses to protect that don't want a bankruptcy on their record. That might be the only case where so, we would file So you evaluate the facts. That's a, that's a good but point. But the bottom line is, is that... The Chapter 7 still, Absolutely. in this type of situation, becomes the most effective tool to get rid of the debt, whether it's just taxes or it's taxes, medical bills, and credit cards. I don't want everybody to think you have to have all three to necessarily be the candidate for the bankruptcy. The Chapter 7 might just be for credit card debt because there is no tax debt. The bottom line is, is you've got to look at the situation and explore all of your opportunities. And that's what they are, opportunities to get rid of debt and get a fresh start. Yeah, just right in with what you're saying and what Jenny <coughs> said is that bankruptcy still works, but at the same token, you have to evaluate the facts. If that particular person would be better off career-wise by getting rid of the debt, taking the risk on the five-year uh, stay clean rule, but not having the bankruptcy, then you go that way. It's a question of figuring out what the best move is. We're going to take a break. When we come back, I wanted to ask Brian, what do we do about this second mortgage? We'll be back. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you're approaching retirement and don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your investments, and your savings. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Putting a solid strategy in place with Samasco Law legally protects your assets as well as your wishes. Since a will doesn't cover you medically or financially, Samasco Law goes beyond ordinary asset management protection to safeguard everything you have. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. It's time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to listen to us Tuesdays, noon to 1 p.m. and 6 to 7 p.m. for Law & Reality Live on WCHB 1200 AM 99.9 .9 FM. Also on Thursdays, 3 to 4 p.m. on Law & Reality Now, 9, 10 a.m. with Cliff Russell. We have seminar coming up on... Wednesday, December 7th of this year, 6 to 7.30 p.m., Pat Samasco is going to join us for a seminar on the legal side to nursing home care for mom and dad. Pat's going to take us through all the steps that you need to know for Medicaid planning, also how vets and vets' families can get aid and attendance uh, benefits from, from the government. Your situation is this. If you have a loved one, an elderly parent, your spouse that needs nursing home care, You've got to be pragmatic. It's nine to twelve thousand dollars a month for that care. Average stays thirty-two months. Whatever assets you typically have, if you're a normal family, they're going to be exhausted through that process. So the smart play is to save them because when one spouse is in the nursing home, the other spouse is at home and still needs to have money to live with. 
Pat's the absolute guru on how to take this process and make it work so that you save your assets. The seminar is free. It's Wednesday, December 7th, 6 to 7.30 p.m. Sign up at thavgross.com or lawandreality.com. We have another seminar coming up Wednesday, December 14th, 6.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. Titled as follows, When the New Year Cometh, I Shall Become Debt Free. This is going to be a debt elimination seminar, which is also the same thing as a preserved future income seminar, where we get rid of the debt using our strategies with bankruptcy, without bankruptcy, how to solve tax problems, how to handle a house that's underwater or rental property underwater. The seminar is free. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. You sign up at thavgross.com or lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. Also remember, we always offer free consultations. If anyone, you don't have to wait for a seminar to come in to meet us. You can call us at 888-235-HELP. Go to the websites and request a free consultation. You come in, we sit down with you, lawyer to you, and analyze the problem. It's not a meet and greet. We sit down for a half hour to an hour. We analyze the problem thoroughly. We tell you what your options are. We tell you what it's going to cost in order to solve the problem. And we lay out a plan for the future. It's the smartest way of addressing an issue is always to investigate your options. Also, go to the websites. Check out our free reports. They're always there and available for you. Uh, it's a worthwhile endeavor. We'll be back after the break. It's devastating. The effects of debt and foreclosure on you and your family. There is a solution. Worth Thav Gross, our firm will solve your problem. Some fear the word bankruptcy, but in reality, it's a strategy to save your home and to eliminate debt. If you're in financial trouble, timing is critical. You need to take action now. We've been saving homes and eliminating debt for over 33 years. Call Fav Gross, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. All right, welcome back. All right, we've analyzed John and Lori's situation with respect to everything but one thing. They still have the second mortgage. The house is worth 150. The first mortgage, I think, was 160. They got the second mortgage at 25,000. Is there anything we can do to get rid of that? Well, there's two options to get rid of that. First of all, by filing the Chapter 7, it doesn't get rid of the second mortgage, No, it correct? doesn't. It does not lien strip the second mortgage. Does it get rid of their obligation to pay? It eliminates and discharges their personal obligation to pay. So if they decided to walk away from the house two months from now or two years from now or ten years from now, as long as there's still a mortgage owing on that property, they actually don't have a legal obligation to pay it. The if first they choose, mortgage or the second mortgage. Right. If they choose not to pay it, the lender can foreclose. And lose the house. And take back the house. But if they choose, but if they choose to pay it, they can keep the house. All right, so 15 years from now, the house is worth 180000 The first mortgage is paid down to 140. There would be 40000 of equity there, but now we got this second mortgage in there. Is there something we can do now to get rid of that second mortgage? Well, there's two choices. <clears throat> Originally, they only qualified for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Change the facts a little bit. Maybe they get a little bit more income. Maybe they don't get a little more income. But the bottom line is, is a Chapter 13 can be filed after a Chapter 7 has been completed. And you don't... Don't you sometimes call that a Chapter 20? I do call that a Chapter 20. And because 7 plus 13 equals 20. Did you figure that out yourself? Indeed, I'm the only one in the entire history of bankruptcy law that ever figured that out by themselves. 
that 7 and 13 equals 20. And so does 13 plus 7. So they say. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> you, can, you can eliminate a second mortgage. You can lien strip it. In this case, let's just say for simple facts that the second mortgage payment is $250 a month. And after we do their budget, all they have left to pay the $250 a month is $200 a month. So there's still $50 upside down in their budget at the end of the day after their Chapter 7. So what's the end result? Because I want to I can take the a $200 a month and pay that in a Chapter 13 for 36 months. So that's $2,400 times three, $7,500 or so, and they're done with the second mortgage? And the second mortgage is gone. That's wonderful. Yeah. All right, now, switching facts, because we've got two minutes left. Same facts for John and Lori, but... Like many couples, they didn't file their tax returns themselves. They ignored it. They did what Pat had said at the beginning. They buried their head in the sand, and the IRS filed the returns for them called substitute returns. Okay. So I would file still a Chapter 7 for them to eliminate those debts that could be eliminated. The credit, the cards. credit cards and the hospital bills and eliminate their personal responsibility the to pay the underlying be, mortgages. The 7 would not be eligible. The Four. seven does not eliminate the tax debt. So then we go back to Jenny. At that point, what do you do? You At do that point, we would file the offer and compromise. I agree with Brian as we would probably file the Chapter 7 first because that's typically over quicker than an offer and compromise. And the IRS doesn't allow um, credit card payments in the calculation or medical bills if you're not making the payment. So it doesn't hurt them to get rid of those debts first in the Chapter 7 and then file the offer and compromise. Then you do the offer and compromise, and then do we go back to you and we do a We could do a Chapter 13 at that mortgage? point if there's still no equity attaching to the second mortgage. So the combination of the tools of financial crisis management here, that's a beautiful thing. Get rid of the credit card debt, have a plan to get rid of the tax debt, and then get rid of the second mortgage. It's, it's a symphony. Here's the last question, though. Now, you get it all done, it's all perfect, they're all doing great. Then is their job to go out and get a bunch more credit cards and get that second mortgage again and rack up a bunch more, 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 more debt? Well, only if they want to be a client again. Yeah, it's better to... <laughs> Hopefully not. What, we, what you want to do is you want to reposition your life so that instead of sending 500 to $700 a month to the credit card companies... Or more. You start paying cash for the things that you buy, you save... Save. At least half of that money in the bank every month so that when you get to 75, you have three things accomplished. You own your house free and clear, you have some money in the bank, and you have zero debt. That's my That's simple three-point retirement plan that means you may not be traveling the world, but you live comfortably and you have enough money you to spend. food on the table. And pay for some gifts for your grandchildren. And, and, and you don't have to worry about becoming a ward of the state or a ward of your children. That's a wrap. We'll be back next week with Law and Reality. Thanks for watching.